Nicki Minaj's tour in Oakland is sold out amid rumors that there were so many available seats left like we're honey the crowd is crazy this arena is packed like a sardine can let me just say this y'all not even Doja Cat's tour was that filled you know what I'm saying but I love the crowd that is coming out to see Nicki Minaj and at this point nobody has nothing on her okay so these blogs some other blogs were like trolling Nikki oh this tour ain't sold out but actually people were rolling in because it was thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people waiting outside to get in so obviously they took a picture when it was just too early so they could give a wrong narrative that you know there was nobody in the arena honey it wasn't even showtime okay because they know that the show would sold out they want to give a wrong narrative because you know they don't like Nicki Minaj okay the fact that even the haters are you know tuning in at this point just confess that you're a fan okay be truthful to thyself i'm i'm not gonna lie y'all this tour is epic for a female rapper to you know sell out shows so quick so many people are showing up even though they say she's canceled make it make sense this girl Onika Tanya Mirage is iconic as F, okay? I just can't wait to see the looks, sweetheart, because I know she's going to devour those looks. And at this point, I want to see what Monica is going to do on the stage. I know some of Monica's songs, but I'm just saying, hey, we want to see how the show is going to align with Monica being there. Because a lot of people were skeptical about, you know, why the fuck is Monica, you know, why is she going to perform on the stage singing R&B songs? Girl, we came to a rap tour. What the is monica gonna say okay but i think some of the barbs they know monica's songs and you just don't only have young barbs there's a lot of barbs that are in their 30s you know mind you we also saw a grandpa in the crowd so y'all know them elderly folks bless their hearts came out to support the queen so that tells you Nikki fan base is so legendary there's not a limited age group like you have 80s the 90s a lot of people uh 80 year olds showing up that's the baddest bitch there okay and I don't blame those people now you know they're gonna run with this narrative that this sh this tour is bad but we all gonna see for ourselves you could check Twitter the show is packed okay a lot of people are there the, the line itself was a lot i was like how the it, how is security gonna process this crowd okay it's like the world is ending but a lot of people want to go to heaven that's what the tour looks like literally people wanted to go in like there's a lot of people it looks like the whole united states of america okay but bless Nikki's heart, she has done it again. She flopped Cardi B, she flopped Megan, and everybody who had something negative to speak on about her career and her legacy. It could never be undone. And she is showing all of that in front of her faces. What else are they going to say? Hmm? Nothing. Nothing. Okay? And let me just say this real quick. Cardi B announcing that she's going to drop her album. I want to see what the album is going to be like and I want to see what the tour for Cardi B's album is going to be like because at this point I don't think Cardi B has that much fans okay <laughs> I'm just saying but they're gonna uh, work really hard to market that uh, album after so many years Cardi B released Invasion of Privacy since 2018 it's now 2024 girl girl your career has exiled <laughs> okay your career walked away from you period but let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section y'all and do not forget to leave a like share if you care click that notification bell and see y'all next time and thank you for sipping with us